Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue working with subtraction with the standard algorithm. But we're going to throw in one little twist and our learning goal for that is I can decompose twice to subtract using the standard algorithm. So before we might have had to subtract in the tens place or in the hundreds place, but now we're going to have to um, decompose in both places as we are solving our problems. So we're going to get started with an application problem. So it says Jolene brings an apple and an orange with her to school. She weighs both of the pieces of fruit together. Or sorry, the weight of both pieces of fruit together is 417 grams. The apple weighs 223 grams. What is the weight of Jolene's orange? So, you're it. I want you guys to go ahead and solve this problem. Um, if you want to draw a tape diagram, you are more than welcome to do that. Whatever helps you to be able to solve um, and find the weight of Jolie's orange. So go ahead and pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, if you need more time, make sure you click pause. Otherwise, here we go. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. I'm going to model the apple, which is 223 grams. And then over here, I have the orange, but I don't know how much that one weighs. But I do know that the total of both the apple and the orange are 417 grams. So because I don't know one of the parts, but I know the total, that's telling me that I need to subtract for this. So 417 grams minus 223 grams. So we're going to start with in the ones place, and I'm going to take three from seven, which leaves me with four. One, I'm going to subtract two from one, but I can't do that, so I'm going to decompose a hundred. Then I'm going to be left with three hundreds. I'm going to take that hundred that I borrowed and decompose it into ten tens and combine it with the one ten that's already there. And now I have eleven. Now I'm able to subtract my two tens from eleven tens, which leaves me with nine tens. And then I can go to my hundreds place with three minus two is one. So 194 grams is how much the orange weighs. So Jolene's orange weighs about 194 grams. So notice how we are solving the problem, like we're reading the problem, we're drawing a tape diagram to be able to help us. We are solving the problem and then we are writing our answer in a sentence. So that's the RDW process, friends. So make sure that you guys are doing that as you're working as well. So here's the next part of this problem. In the application problem, Jolene's apple weighs 223 grams and her orange weighs 194 grams. So here I'm going to model that. So there's the apple, 223. Here's the orange, 194. What do you think this box represents? that I have that question mark in there. What do you think that represents? Yeah, it's representing the difference between the weight of the apple and the orange. So when I'm trying to figure out the difference with that, remember it's kind of just like what we did um, in the last problem, you're having to subtract. So as we are doing that, we're going to subtract as we're going through. So we're gonna start in the ones place again as always. We have, I cannot take away four ones from three ones. So I'm going to go to the tens place this time and I'm going to borrow one of those tens and decompose or break it apart. So then I'm left with only one. I'm decomposing that ten into ten tens. So now I have to combine that with my three ones that I already have. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. I missed said that. I am taking one ten and I am decomposing it into ten ones for this part of the problem. Now I need to combine those 10 ones with the three ones that I have, and that gives me 13 ones. And now I'm able to subtract four ones, which leaves me with nine ones. Now we go to our tens place, and I have one 10, and I cannot take away nine tens as you're going through. So I need to decompose a hundred again. So I have 100 now that's left, and one that I'm taking, and 10 tens make 100. So combine that with the one 10 that I already have. And now I have 11 tens. So 11 tens minus 9 tens is 2 tens. And then in my hundreds place, I have 100 minus 100, which leaves me with nothing, zero. 
Now, because that's the first digit in our number, you don't have to write that in your answer. If there was the thousands place in our problem, then you would need to write the zero in your answer. But because it's the very first digit, you don't have to be able to write that. So we have 29 grams. So we can swap out that question mark, and now we know the difference between the two weights is 29 grams. So the apple is 29 grams heavier than the orange. So awesome job with that one, friends. All right, so here's another problem that we're going to work on. We have 764 minus 485. So you guys are in on this one. I want you to pause the video and go ahead and solve this problem. If you get stuck, it's okay. This is only the first time that you're doing a problem like this on your own where you're decomposing twice. So if you get stuck, don't give up, don't get frustrated. Just click pause and I'm gonna swoop in and I'll help you solve this problem together. If you are rocking and rolling, go ahead and rock and roll and solve the whole problem and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. So either way, just click play when you're ready for me. All right, friends. So here, let's line these up nice and neat and organized. So all the ones are in the ones place, the tens are in the tens place, and the hundreds are in the hundreds place. So I'm gonna start in my ones place. I have four, ten, four ones, I cannot subtract five ones. So I'm gonna go decompose a 10. So now I take one of those tens away. Now I'm left with five tens. I decompose that 10 into 10 ones. So then I have to combine that with the four ones that I already have, and now I have 14. So now I'm able to subtract five from 14, which is nine. Now I go to my tens place. I cannot subtract eight from five, it's not enough. So I have to go decompose 100. So I'm gonna take one of these hundreds away and I'm left with six. 10 tens make 100. So now I combine those 10 tens with that five that's already there and I have 15 tens. So 15 tens minus eight tens is seven tens. Now I go to my hundreds place and I have six tens or six hundreds minus four hundreds leaves me with two hundreds. So 764 minus 485 is 279. Okay, so awesome job with that one, friends. Don't worry if you didn't get it because we're gonna practice more in our lesson today. But if you got it, great job. Either way, I'm glad you guys are working hard. Let's look at another one. So we have Karen has 703 milliliters of water in a pitcher. She pours some water out. Now, 124 milliliters are left in the pitcher. How much water did Karen pour out? So we know that she started with 703. We know that she poured some out and then she had 124 left. So are we gonna add those numbers together to find out how much she poured out or are we going to subtract? Yeah, we're gonna subtract. Good job, friends. All right. So here we go. So we're going to go from in the ones place. I have three ones. I cannot take away four ones. So I'm gonna to go to my tens place to see if I can decompose over there. So in my tens place, I have a zero. Oh, I have a zero? Well, zero is no ten. So I that tens place isn't gonna help me at all. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Let's go all the way over to our hundreds place and decompose from there. So I am going to take one of the hundreds, so then I'm left with six hundreds. I'm gonna decompose that into 10 tens because I know how to do that pretty good, right? So 10 tens. Now, if I wanna go back over when I went back to my ones place, I still don't do anything with air, but you know what? Now I have tens in the tens place to be able to help me out. So I'm gonna decompose one of those tens. So now they're left with nine tens. 10 ones make up a 10. So I'm gonna combine that with my three ones that I already have, which will give me 13. So now I have 13 and I can subtract four ones from that, which would give me nine ones. Now I can go to my tens place, nine tens minus two tens is seven tens. And then I can go to my hundreds place, six hundreds minus one hundred is five hundreds. 
Don't forget to label your unit as you are measuring. So Karen poured out 579 milliliters of water. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. This one looks a little bit different because it has all those zeros in the ones and the tens place. So we haven't seen a problem like this. So let's line these up. All the ones in the ones place, the tens in the tens place, and the hundreds in the hundreds place. So we are subtracting. Now I have zero, one, so I cannot take away six ones. So I go to the tens place and I have nothing there to decompose. Oh no. So just like what we did last time, we went over to the hundreds place. So I'm gonna decompose one of those hundreds. So I take one of them away and they're left with six hundreds now. I'm gonna decompose that 100 into 10 tens. Now let's look at my ones place. Can I solve that part of the problem still? Well, not yet, I have to do another step, right? I have to be able to go over again and decompose a 10. So I'm gonna take one of those tens and now they're left with nine tens. I take one 10 and decompose it into 10 ones. There's my 10 ones. Now I have 10 ones, I can subtract six from 10 and I'm left with four. I can subtract five from nine, which leaves me with four. And I can subtract three from six, which would leave me with three. So 700 minus 356 is 344. All right, so let's take a look at another one. So friends, we have 500 minus 467 and you're it. I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video solve this problem and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right friends, here we go. So we have 500 minus 467. We are going to go to the hundreds place because I can't subtract in the ones place. I can't use anything in the tens place to decompose. So I'm going to the hundreds to decompose one of the hundreds. Now they're left with four hundreds. One of the hundreds decomposes into 10 tens. Now I can take one of those tens and decompose it into 10 ones. So 10 minus seven is three, nine minus six in the tens place is three, and four minus four in the hundreds place is zero. So remember we do not have to write the zero in that number. So 500 minus 476 is 33. All right, so awesome job with that one, friends. Boom, you guys did an awesome job decomposing twice to be able to subtract using the standard algorithm. So you guys did a fantastic job with that. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know, I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.